Hey guys, so my birthday was yesterday, May 2nd, and I'm just going to show y'all how my birthday cake turned out and what all I did to it. So I decided to use styrofoam for the two bottom tiers because it was only me and my five friends and we was not going to eat that much cake. So here I used the panelly method. This was my first time doing the panelly method. I usually just cover my cakes in fondant, but I just did this just so it could just, I just wanted to practice basically. So I could say that for my first time doing the paneling method, it did come out pretty decent. You know, my edges were straight and everything looked fine. So now I'm going in with the second tier. I'm doing this tier white because this is a tier that's going to have my, my Medusa logo in the front of it. I use my Cricut to print out the Versace letters. I... I then go ahead and I put piping gel on it just so I could trace it out and see where I'm going to put the letters. Now here's the logo that's going on the white cake. I cut that out, put that on my fondant, add piping gel, stick it onto my white cake. Now I grab a cake drum, I trace out the top so I can know where my cake on the top is going to go. I place it there and boom. Now I add some bling to it to kind of, you know, jazz it up and then that's how it look. On to part two of my cake. This is where I add the money. Here I'm acting like I'm so rich. I wish, no. But I cut out my edible images. And this is so satisfying to me. I just like cutting out the money. Because it's like, mm. But I use a pan. So I can kind of place my money to look crinkly. Because I don't want it to be straight. I want it to kind of give it a, you know, a wrinkly look effect to it. So then I grab some bills and I kind of roll them up to give them, you know, the rolled look effect. Then I start placing my money onto the cake. I kind of see where I want to put it first and then I actually put it on the cake just so I can have an idea of where it's going exactly. So then I just repeat the process and I keep doing what I'm doing. So I do want to bring out that one of my followers on TikTok suggested I should add some gold flakes or some gold splatter to it. So that's exactly what I did. And I feel like it really did bring the cake way together because it just gave it that little oomph that it needs. And look at me trying to look like Picasso. But it, I think the gold splatter effect looks great. So now we're going to go to part three. And it's still going to be the final part of me making my birthday cake. So I decided to do a strawberry cake because I love my strawberry cake recipe. And here I'm doing the white chocolate ganache on the outside so that I can apply my fondant afterwards and put it onto my cake. The only reason I have the first and top layer to be real is because like I said, there's only five of us and none of us was gonna eat three tiers of cake. So I just feel like this is a smart way to go if you just want a cake just for the looks and if y'all are just gonna eat the top layer. So then I start painting gold. I feel like these three colors go so well together, the gold, the white, and the black. Then I add more money to it, add the 22, and then that's it. That's how my birthday cake came out. I hope you guys like it, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. Bye!